Naomi got the drip, you need to come and see She switching up her hair, her makeup stay on fleek Got got crooked on her hips, she never miss a beat She showing off her style with a new video this week Naomi, I'm a re, Naomi, I'm a re Naomi, I'm a re, Naomi, I'm a re Naomi got the drip, you need to come and see She showing off her style with a new video this week y'all welcome back to my youtube channel it's me now memory and i'm back with another video so today i have a granny square shorts pattern that i've been seeing online so i decided to recreate it for you all so you're gonna need three different colors of your choice today and a 5.50 mm crochet hook let's get it a quick little psa i have got to stop recording stuff on the spot and not trying it beforehand so firstly, if y'all want to see more crochet tutorials, I'm going to need for y'all to suggest stuff that y'all want to see. But anyways, to get started, we're going to start off by making a slip knot. I hold my yarn like this, twist it, and then I just pull the opposite side through the hole. Easiest way for me to do it. And of course, just secure it a little bit tighter on your hook. So you're going to start off by making a chain of four. So next you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that was made as you can see and it kind of gives you like this small circle in a sense. That's what you're going to be working inside of. So you're going to chain up three. To begin the granny square you're just going to insert another double crochet into the circle. We have to start the formation of the square so once you do that you're going to chain one and you're gonna insert two more double crochets into the same circle. So once again, chain one, insert two more double crochets into the circle. So for the last one, you're going to chain one and insert two more double crochets. This is forming our little square. So after you do the last two double crochets, you're going to chain one. And then you're just going to slip stitch onto the third chain on the previous double crochet space. So next you're going to chain up three and you're going to flip your work to begin working the square. Square, rectangle, whatever you want to call it. You're going to insert a double crochet into the first hole. This is going to already be considered as a double crochet because it's the chain up three. So then into the next hole, you're going to insert two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, because this is going to be forming the corner. But before the first one, I don't think I said it, but you're going to chain one, then do the shell. So next, you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat another shell into the next corner. And to finish it up, you're just going to chain one and then insert two double crochets into the last stitch. You're not going to work that last top row. You're just going to leave it as it is. So next you're going to chain up four. This is going to be working the next row. As you can see, we chained up four because obviously there's a double crochet below. So you're going to insert the two double crochet, chain one into the next space. I actually really did the wrong amount. Sorry, y'all. So chain up four and then skip the first stitch and you're going to go into the next hole and you're going to insert two double crochets, chain one. So as you are working on this, your corners are going to begin to space out and you'll begin to have like two double crochet spaces in the middle. So as you can see now we're about to work our shell. So you're going to insert two double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, and then you're going to chain one and now you're back to normal. Boop. 
there we go again and then as you can see there's only one difference so now the next thing that you're going to be doing is adding another shell on the corner and this is really all just repetition it's so simple So then next you're going to chain one and then the next space you're going to insert two double crochets. And then for the last part you're going to chain one and just insert one double crochet into the space. I'm going to leave the text in for this. I'm not going to really do a voiceover for this part. I'll come back whenever it's something new. If you guys have any questions just comment down below and let me know. So when you change colors, really there's nothing different. You're just going to work the same exact thing after you just reattach. This is how I reattach. I'll leave the last two and then I'll slip stitch the other one in and go back and tie the knots. It's just whatever's more comfortable for you. So when I'm doing this different row, I'm literally going to do this color for maybe four rows. It depends on your body shape. For those who are a little bit bigger and you're working on a bigger size, you're gonna wanna increase your rows by maybe one or two. Like I said, it's completely optional. You could do it however you want, but if you're gonna do it that way, I would rather just increase. Or you don't even have to increase, just increase on the outside when we go back to the white color.
then this would be the last color change which is to this bluish color I did about four rows working the granny stitch pattern it's gonna differ for everybody for people who are doing a bigger size you may want to increase a row or two it just completely depends So really now I'm about to just measure it out mine was about 12 inches which is perfect because that's kind of like my hip to hip well not really my hip to hip but almost so you're gonna want it to be like exactly halfway of your front half and halfway of your back half so for me I ended up going back and using this white color and working it for two more rows like I said it completely depends on what size you're making um, to help you guys out I am a I think I'm a size three. I lost a little bit of weight. I'm probably a size three and my hips measurement is maybe around 34, I wanna say, 34 inches. So if that's just a reference you guys need, there you go. So now you're gonna wanna create one more panel exactly like the first. For my second one, I ended up reversing my colors. So I did white, blue, then green. 
Um, so anywho, this is what it looks like. I have one side already sewn up. So now we're gonna sew the other side up. You're gonna attach your white yarn or whatever color yarn you're using to the side that's, you know, where all the flappies are, where we are changing colors, that end. And you're gonna slip stitch it, do whatever you need to do to attach the yarn. you attach your yarn you're gonna make a chain of five sorry I was moving kind of slow because like I was literally making this up as I went come on girl all right so I have a chain of five and now you're just gonna grab the other side and what I do is I slip stitch it in and as you can see so I slip stitch it in and now the rest of it that you're working is basically downward in a sense so you're gonna chain three and then you're going to slip stitch into the next hole. Flip your work because now you got to work back. And I ended up going into the third space of the chain below and I inserted a shell of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. You're just gonna go completely back to the other side and just tag it in there and then you're gonna chain up three, slip stitch it in, and continue working it. It's really simple. Basically, you can think of it as connecting it to the wall so that, you know, it don't look cray cray. So this is, you can see now I chained my three, now I'm gonna go back and insert a shell below. you're honestly just gonna repeat the same exact concept until you reach the very end and then you'll just cut and fasten off
So now you're just gonna cut and fasten off. This is the end of it. So this is also a spot that may vary for everyone. So you're gonna locate the middle of your work. And this is what you can see, I'm attaching my yarn now. myself I did a chain of 10 if you have a bigger butt you may want to add more chains and if you have a smaller butt just decrease this is just making sure like you're gonna have enough crotch area for yourself so it's not gonna be too tight next you're just gonna slip stitch to the other side as you can see and then you're just gonna chain three and you're gonna insert another double crochet into the same exact space that you're already in and you're basically just going to simply work the granny square pattern once again. So for myself, I did I think about four rows in total of just working around the same thing, no increase or no decrease. And it fit me pretty good I want to say. So it just depends if you want yours a little bit more cheeky, you would just decrease your rows. Or if you want it a little bit more covered, you would just increase your rows. Go back to the little chain space you're gonna skip three of the chain spaces and insert two double crochets and then you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna skip three more and insert another one like I said if you did less or more it obviously is gonna vary but if you're doing the same exact thing that I'm doing just skip three and then you're just gonna repeat around this kind of just gives it like a little foundation And as I said, I did this for a total of four rows. So this is what it looks like with my four rows. You're just gonna literally reattach in the crotch area. That's where I think the best spot is, just so you don't have to see like, you know, if you do make a mistake, you're just gonna reattach it there and do the same exact thing and repeat it for four rows. But when you start, you make sure you chain up three because that's gonna count as a double crochet.
Ooh, child, I know y'all hands is tied because mine was too. <laughs> so to start the border, use whatever color you want. And I reattached on the side. That was just my personal preference. And as you can see, I'm tying a knot, making it tight, loosey goosey, no bueno. So you're gonna chain up three. And what I did, I didn't do single crochet border. I just honestly went straight in and did double crochets. So, so chain up three, and then you're gonna insert two double crochets in each space around. That's what I did. What you do is completely upon you, but that's what I discovered. And then as I went up, I think my next blue row that I did, I decreased by one. So I skipped like every other stitch and put a double crochet just to make it a little bit more snug around my waist. So if you want them a little bit more high waist, obviously this is up to you, but for me I did two rows of the blue and two rows of the green. And then so next you want to make a chain about 200 for me, depends on your size, and you're just going to go back and literally interlock them at the top, which is here. So as you can see this is the finished product. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what y'all want to see. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.